Hey guys, it's Chad Keel with Learning Geology and Nature Reconnection. And today we're learning about alluvial fans. What is an alluvial fan? And I'm going to tell you about some interesting data about this alluvial fan and the processes that created it. Because it happens to be in my backyard. Let's go check it out. So before we dive down the rabbit hole of alluvial fans, let's first take a second to talk about weathering and erosion. Because those are two factors that are going to come into play again and again when we're talking about this alluvial fan. Right here around 6,500 feet into the mountains and temperatures can vary from 20 degrees each day. Causing the rocks to kind of expand and contract. And this expanding and contracting is going to cause fracturing. Now these fractures are susceptible for water to percolate down into the rock. And when the water freezes in the rock, we all know that ice has a larger volume than water. It again fractures out that rock. And these fractured blocks are deposited here in this active channel. And then we have the erosion factor that comes and transports it down mountain. So that's the beginning process of this whole alluvial fan story. Alluvial fans are triangular shaped deposits of water transported material, often referred to as alluvium. They are examples of an unconsolidated sedimentary deposit and tend to be larger and more prominent in arid to semi-arid regions like we are today. These alluvial fans typically form in elevated or even mountainous regions where there's a rapid change in the slope from a high to a low gradient. The river or the stream carrying the sediment flows at a relatively high velocity due to the high slope angle, which is why coarse material is able to remain in the flow. When the slope decreases rapidly into a relatively planar area or plateau, the stream loses the energy it needs to move its sediment. Deposition subsequently occurs and the sediment ultimately spreads out, creating the alluvial fan. As a stream's gradient decreases, it drops the coarse grain material. It makes swagger of the channel and forces it to change direction and gradually build up a slightly mounded or shallow conical fan shape. The sediment that results from the erosion in this elevated mountainous region right here ultimately flows into the primary streams in the region where the streams act as a drainage system and carry the sediment to the alluvial plain which is down below us. Once the sediment exits the feeder stream, the sediment is no longer confined to the channel walls. With this unconfinement, the sediment begins to fan out. The alluvial fan becomes wider with increasing distance from the mouth of the canyon. The biggest natural hazard on alluvial fans are floods and debris flows. Floods on alluvial fans are commonly flash floods. They occur with little to no warning, usually have high velocities and sediment transportating capabilities and are relatively short. Modern flood control infrastructure is essential to stop flooding, property damage, and the loss of life from happening. Successful development can and does occur on alluvial fans. Even in rural areas like ours, mitigation measures are utilized. Building pads are elevated, obvious drainage paths are left unobstructed, and in some cases, flood walls are built. Flood plain management principles of alluvial fans are part of everyone's life that chooses to live in this special place. I hope this helps you understand more about alluvial fans and the processes that create them. Until next time, I'm Chad Keel.